Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to this video. Today I am excited to try out the new mascara from Kaya Cosmetics. Now, this had been out for a couple of months and it looks to be a dupe for Better Than Sex Mascara or Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. And you know me, I love my, I sh my mascaras to be a little bit clumpier. Yes, I like that. Not too much, but I do like it to look heavier and clumpier. I prefer that. But I don't want it to smudge. I don't want it to flake. I don't want it to make me look like a raccoon at the end of the day. And this is called Space Intense. Now, I already reviewed their first two mascaras, Bibs and... I forgot the name. Bits, Viz? I forgot the name of those mascaras, but I'm going to... If I remember, link them down below. You can check out that review. But... I'm going to try that. Those two look made my eyelashes look beautiful, volumized very nicely. They wear beautifully, didn't flake, didn't smudge. But after using it two weeks, those mascaras, I don't know what happened with the texture or the formulation of those mascaras, but I know I when I declouded the mascaras, I talked about it in one of my videos, which I don't remember. I know I remember talked about it and said that it suddenly start to transform under my eyes, made me look, have dark circles, it start flaky, which it didn't do in two, three first weeks, but it did at the, after that time. So I'm kind of curious to try that. So if you've tried this one, so if you're interested to hear my thoughts about the Space Intense Mascara, then please keep on watching. reviewing right now a uh, foundation and I think that video is going to be up before so I'm going to put a card up here or link down below so you can check that out if you like my makeup if you're interested to know what mascara that a uh, mascara what foundation that is but space intense this is how the packaging looks like it looks nice I would prefer it if it was all black, but oh, that's a big wand. This is huge. Oh my god. This is a huge mascara. Okay, I'm going to curl and see. I have so jaded palette on my eyes. I wanted a more natural look. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm nervous. God, this is huge. It's bigger than my eye. This mascara is definitely going to go all over your eyes if you have small eyes, smaller than I have. And I do have small eyes, but... But it, uh, it looks nice. Okay, let's do the other eye. I hate the wand, I have to say. Or the brush, I hate it. It's too big, but it does make my eyelashes look very nice and long. But I'm afraid it's going to, you know, remove or destroy my makeup. Okay, so this is like a one or two co fast coats and it looks very nice. Um, it reminds me of Damn Girl or Better Than Sex Mascara, but I don't know. I did mess up a little bit down here, but we'll see if we can remove it. Let's go in with the other coat. And it gives that clumpy effect, which I like. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know. I'm impressed. But also not. What do you think? This is second coat that I used, and I applied a lot of it. Um, it takes a why for me to to get used to the brush but 
they are not as long as I thought they would be. Definitely dark and clumpier. Oh, this is too much. The third coat is definitely too much. I'm saying the third coat is too much and I still go in with the mascara. Oh. Oh my god. It made my low lash line look crazy. <laughs> Let's see if we can split these. This is definitely going to give you a more clumpy look. So if you like that, which I do, I do like it. Now I did went a little bit too much in with the third coat, so I could go without that. But I do like my um, mascaras to be more clumpier. It doesn't give me that wow volume. I can't see it. I feel like it doesn't really make them long. It just gives them color. I don't know. What do you think? Or am I wrong? So far it's okay, but I will wear it during the day. It's very early now. Let me show you. 9.28, that's very early, but it's 9 in the morning and I'll go on with my day and I'll let you know how it wears. So, hi my beautiful family. Let's go and talk about the mascara now. It's, oh my, even my eyeshadow is creasing right now. Well, it's been, it's, right now 7 p.m. so I had this mascara on for how many hours? 9.30? Around 10, 10 and a half hours and it still looks really beautiful. Now you can see here on the side where I have a little bit of like a flake and I do have a couple of flakes down here but it's not too much. As, as much as I thought because I did use a lot of mascara and you can see it transferred up here just a little bit but they still are volume they still have a lot of volume and the shade the color so everything looks really really nice I do like this mascara I will definitely continue using it I think um, overall it looks more intense as those other two first mascaras from Kaya Cosmetics so I do like this one uh, I'll of course continue playing with it and see how this formula is going to hold and how it's going to look I will definitely update you later guys of course but so far so good so I do like this mascara I think it's I don't like the brush it's too big I think uh, the packaging is cute but it this kind of glitter, I don't know, it just makes it look a little bit cheaper that maybe, I don't know, I just, I'm not sold for the packaging, but I do think the formula is kind of good because I do like those clumpier mascaras, but look, my God, this is huge, this is huge, but yeah. I'll see, I'll play with this a little bit more and let you know what I think about it after using it a couple of weeks, but so far so good. Please just let me know down below if you tried any of K Cosmetics mascara, is there any mascara you want me to try out? Please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye, guys.